So I appreciate everybody watching my videos and following me, um, views, likes, all that. Thank you. I did want to let you know that I am using Beast Bond, the one-to-one uh, -one ratio resin in this project. When you mix it, you will see a lot of bubbles. Now, the temperature in my work area um, hovered right below 70. So, I set my part A in um, a warm water bath. The cup, once I poured my uh, part A into the cup, I set it into the water and I would gently stir it until I could feel it thin out because it was getting warm. And then I remove it and I pour my part B in and mix it from there. I try to do less than 30 minute work time because I did heat part A. Now that meant that it could speed up the work time. But I am very pleased that I get little to no bubbles once the uh, project is completely cured. Now, I use heat mats, um, especially for this one right here. It's sitting on a Let's Resin heat mat. And I always put my items on a low setting and six hours. I place my molds on there while I'm getting ready so that the molds themselves can be warmed up. I find that anything higher than low is uh, just a little bit too warm. But I have four of these and that helps me keep all my projects going. With the leftover resin here, you can see I had the other mold sitting to the side and I immediately started pouring into that one. Also, there is another project, the mini cutting boards or charcuterie boards or serving boards, the small ones that I've been doing that I get the molds from Timu. I had enough resin to do one of those. And in the end, you will see that all three of these turned out absolutely stunning. I cannot be happier with the PDB glitter that I used and the Beast Bond resin in coordination with the heat mat from Let's Resin. Thanks guys. So this video is the next day. What I did was I took two scoops from all four of the glitters that I used and I put them in the cup. I added a double scoop of regular white glitter and a heaping scoop of pearlescent mica powder. I think these colors went so well with the colors on the owl. There's the glitter there. That is just glitter I ordered from Amazon. And there's the pearl mica powder also ordered from Amazon. And I'm mixing it up. And look how pretty it turns out. Just watch the change there. Look at that pearl mixed with all those colors. Now, 
Now, for this pour here, you can tell that it's thicker. That is not Beast Bond. That is J. Diction Fast Cure 4 Hour. And yes, you can mix brands as long as the prior resin is completely cured. But look how pretty this is. And I'm the person that mixes and mixes and mixes some more. to tell you what I've done here once I poured that in what I wanted was not so much um, of the opaque covering the owl's face when the tray was fully cured so I took my clear resin that was left and I poured it into the center and then I gently spread it and mixed it just slightly but as you can see it's still leaving the owl you know the face of it um, visible and it was just an effect I wanted So, yes, that was a chore, a little bit, to get that mold um, released. But I believe that you will be really pleased with how clear that mold turned out and how pretty this owl tree turned out. I'm absolutely stunned with the beauty.
and I will add the additional projects that I did from these colors as well. Is that not just beautiful? Look at that. I mean, wow. you guys for watching um, all the views all the subscribing all the comments everything helps me to uh, move forward with what I love thank you